Hey everyone, it's Stuart here. And in today's video, we're gonna show you how to set up a custom dashboard in the Facebook Advertising Manager. Yeah! The first thing you need to do in order to create a custom dashboard is to go to the performance section above your ad reporting. Click on the drop down button next to performance until you see the window open. We then need to navigate down to the customize column section and click on it. This is then going to open up all of the performance tabs that we can select when creating a custom dashboard. The best thing to do is to enter the performance reporting you want into the search bar here. So let's go with purchase, for example. We can see here, there's the purchase ROAS and the purchases. So let's select those options. We will select the total. With the purchases, we will also select the value of the purchase and the cost per purchase. So we have that reporting information in our dashboard. Once we have done that, we can exit out. And if we want to do it the old fashioned way and scroll down and find the important metrics, we can do that as well. So as I scroll down, I can see that there is the CPC and CTR, so cost per click and click through rate. As we go down, we can also see the CPM, which is the cost per mile for 1000 impressions and cost per 1000 accounts centers reached. Let's select both of those. If we come back to the search bar, let's see if we can find another important metric for us, which is leads. That's great. You can see the options here. You can choose from total. We will also choose the value and cost per lead. Now in this instance, obviously it's not a purchase. So a value is not going to be necessary. So if we want to unselect this option, we just go back to it and we click on um, the tick mark until it disappears. And you can see right there, there is no more tick mark. Now, once that is done, you can now see what your custom dashboard looks like here in the right hand section. And this is very important because it will give you an idea as to what information you will then see in your custom dashboard. If we come back up, we may see some things which might not be of any relevance to us, such as the last significant edit, in which case just select the cross button next to it and remove it. We can also see attribution setting. Let's say we want to remove that as well. Let's click on that. And there you are. This is what your current custom dashboard is looking like. If you are happy with that, you can then select the apply button down below right here and click on it. What this is then going to do is it's going to change your custom dashboard reporting settings. And you can see here that there is the columns, which has now been changed to custom. Now, an important little hack is if you want to make sure that this is saved, you want to click the drop down button until you see the custom one and then click save. What that's going to do is it will allow you to give it a name. So in this example, let's use the Danhoff Allo the client whose account I am using, and off Allo custom report, and then select OK. Now, what we can see is all of the metrics which are important to us purchase ROAS, website ROAS, website purchases, the cost per click and click through rate, the cost per 1000 impressions, and cost per lead as well. All very important information. And now that we have it saved up at the top, whenever we come into our ads manager, we can always select this as our default dashboard. And that way we don't have to go through this whole process every time we come into the ads manager. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you got a lot of value out of it. Once again, if you like this video, don't forget to smash that like button down below and consider subscribing if you are new to the channel and want ongoing Facebook and Instagram marketing tutorials and tips. We post new videos every single week. And if you have any questions about the content that was covered in today's video, you can always leave a comment down below and I'll aim to answer your questions as soon as I can. Thanks so much for watching. 
and we'll see you in the next tutorial video. Bye for now.